if you think about it, class divide, poverty, and all that stuff, especially poverty, where they believe they've been traditionalized, uh, they're close to tribal roots or communal living where uh, maybe uh, family takes care of family and such as that. Where there is, they, they have that in other, you know, but a lot of times the higher up you get, you throw money at family to take care of the problems instead of, you know, taking your time. You know, because you don't have, you, the higher you get up, the more you work. Well, not necessarily with politicians because they don't work. But uh, people, the higher you uh, higher up, the more you work, the only way to do anything is throw money at it. <clears throat> so they're really, uh, they're really set apart from being family oriented. They might say they are because, well, we got them a house or we got them a, you know, we got them this or that. It's like giving a man to uh, giving a man a fish a day as opposed to giving him a fishing pole. <clears throat> Not really the same, but what I'm trying to say is the reason uh, social all this stuff works in these poorer countries is because these people, if they don't ha if they don't have food every day and they're promised a meal a day, you're going to take a meal a day. You're going to vote for a meal a day, and that's where socialism, communism win. In these poorer countries, even if they were rich, there's a big class divide. You know, you can call a country rich, but they're like uh, they say in Venezuela and all that. There was, you know, there's a class divide there. There's a deep, uh, there, there had to be a deep uh, poverty level there, where people are just, you know, they're just barely, they're two steps from, you know, being tribal. I'm not saying that they're uh, uh, what do you call barbaric? I'm just saying that you know they're more, they're closer to uh, maybe not necessarily community, but uh, they have ties to uh, well, like people that move to another country. They're not, they don't have asp, they have aspirations. They hear about stuff. But they don't have all the dreams and stuff. They just hear it's better. So they're going to take something. They're going to hear better. And they're going to say, well, let's do that because it's better. And then they get there and they don't have the drive, the dog eat dog, the step on your neighbor, the step on your co-worker to get a, another dollar, you know. And they, they don't have that, which some people, they've... Uh, they either just accept that and throw family away or throw whatever away, you know, because uh, for whatever reason. But it, it is, it's, uh, it's class divide, poverty, you know, traditionalized uh, communal, not necessarily commune, but communal living where they might be dependent on trade if... Uh, you know, they'll do a little work for this. You know, if they don't, if they're out of something or they're short on something and then they know somebody else has this, they might do some work and then, but then that, that also gets that person, if they, if they know that they can get free work for giving a little bit away, let's see, that's also how uh, power has come into play is that we have all this. We have a military, you know, I mean, that's, that's basically where government comes in is, they they might have had a uh, a family that uh, family or people that they associated with that were back in uh, tribal days before governments were set up that they had more uh, people that hunted or warriors or not well maybe maybe warriors if there were even wars back then but they had people that hunted over maybe you know people that were still. Uh, you know, they grew that instead of people that grew uh, a peaceful, you know, not not a uh, build-up type of society where it was just they were peaceful with what they had. And that's just been traditionalized over time, and that's where the divide comes in, and that's where the people don't, you know, they don't want to step on their neighbor. They, they want a more peaceful life instead of just uh, getting as much as they can because you're going to get screwed if you don't and this, that, the other. And that's what society is building itself on and they keep trying to sell that they're not. Well, you know they are 
because they want more taxes is and they don't do anything with the taxes anyway they're giving it away to other countries they just they because they, they want it for uh their foreign and uh foreign work you know for, for foreign power for foreign uh uh lobbying where uh but the, that's 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 reason uh, communism and socialism is easy to uh, 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 where there's class divide and poverty. It's easy to sell communism because you promise them a meal a day, they're going to take it as opposed to when they're getting maybe a meal every two days, or they're having to start you know starving or uh, you know they're going to get a little maybe they'll promise them a little bit of money and they're not going to get it you know they're people that aren't haven't been lied to their whole life are just going to believe what they're told and especially when people say oh they're you know they they talk about the prestige is you know not everybody's like that not everybody's naive but you know the people that are naive that believe that the the elitists and politicians and that are that are in there to help them they're in there to help themselves that's all they've done that's what popularity is is helping it's not they don't call it uh, uh, sharing. I mean, it, it, the only thing they want to share is other people's tax money. That's you know, it's already communism with taxes because they're they're taking it. It's communal communal taxes. It's they're not living off uh, sales tax. You're not you know, if you you buy something, you pay a little higher in tax. Uh, say if you want to get a house or a car or something, you pay a little higher in tax. And you don't pay a property tax. You know what you buy is where the taxes come from. And these people would have to, you know, they wouldn't. They wouldn't if 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 uh, government was volunteer. And you think, well, we wouldn't have as good a government. Yeah, well, we wouldn't have war. We wouldn't have something that had a big giant uh, uh, coffer of money to supply war. You'd have enough. You you would. Uh, people would be more attuned to defending their country when it was time to defend it not just any time a politician heard that they could make some money or friends in a foreign country by you know helping out a king or uh, somebody you know some some regime that's going to favor uh, their political agenda because that's all wars are there's just they just favor a political agenda and uh I mean, even 9-11, when they said that uh, we're going to go kill the people that uh, flew into, or, you know, that destroyed our, uh, the Twin Towers. Well, the people that destroyed the Twin Towers are dead. They flew into it and they died. And they're like, well, yeah, about the people that planned it. Well, how about the people that planned, that knew that was going to happen and just allowed it to happen so that this, so that they could have a war and put their name to a war and uh, allow all this. There's so much stuff behind all, all this wars and all this stuff that they just cover up. And that's where the cover-ups come in. It's stuff you don't know that they do it for. They just, all they got to do is tell you that and you believe it because you believe that they carry a prestige and an honor. There's there's no honor in politicians. When do they they tell you they promise this, and then as soon as they get elected, they do nothing of it. So how can you put a uh, put honor to uh, to anything political, anything elected? There's no honor there. It's popularity. But when is since when has popularity ever been honorable? You know you don't. The people aren't popular because of uh, their honor. I mean, there might be one person one or two people that I, in fact I don't know anybody that's popular because of their honor they're popular because of money they make or their attitude or you know they make people you know that they, they can put a show you know and basically that's what it is that's what so anyway that's it. how are you gonna how are you gonna win over a socialist communist country when you're gonna be fighting against the people the, there's people in power that want all the money and control over people and they they think well that would be a mass slave they get all these people to work for nothing and increase their uh it'll increase their uh profit margin and and uh the taxes they could start taxing corporations well tax corporations aren't 
they want the free they want the free labor and they don't want to pay any more you know they're they're like uh, well we have the freedom to leave the country and then what are you going to do militarize and stop corporations from leaving your country so you can get grab taxes from them and then the people aren't working because uh, there's no medical care and they're all getting sick because of bad food and they can't live on a bad meal a day and they can't go to work because they don't have enough money to put gas in the car and you tax the rates of uh you, you know you uh, there's always something there's always something they're making money on that they don't it doesn't matter it's the people that think they can continue to breed and the government thinks they can continue to take and the rich think they can continually separate themselves from uh underprivileged or poor or whatever people and that's that's how that's how it's that's how people accept but nothing's going to work and it's not working and you continue to live uh, life is continuing to live in the same way because the people in the media are rich and are eating every day and have all this stuff and they don't show if you if you was to show poverty every day on TV and that's all you saw was poverty on TV and social media what do you think would happen if all there was was uh, there wasn't all these rich people giving away money and making people laugh and uh, all you seen was poor people starving and moaning and talking about you'd say I don't want to listen to all that and that's that's the reason uh, all this stuff is happening the way it happens and uh, you know, it's, it's just crazy how people believe that socialism or communism winning over poor countries actually means that it's it's a better lifestyle when you can see that the whole country's poor now and that's basically what they were trying to do anyway that's what they sell they say oh you know we can yeah, the rich can live without a, a you know four meals a day. They can cut it back to three. That'll allow the poor to have one meal a day. You know that's you know that's not what they say, but it's basically the the concept behind it is, you know, the rich can do without a little uh, a little of the stuff. <laughs> so anyway, that's all in my. Uh, this video